Hey guys, welcome to Bearings 2. We'll be looking at that problem that I mentioned at the end of Bearings 1 video. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so in this question it says a tourist travels in a bearing of 45 degrees for 25 kilometers to point B from point A, then due south for 16 kilometers to point C. So we're trying to find the distance between C and A, and what is the bearing of A from C? All right, so we're going to we're going to need to use um, Sokotoa, but let's actually work out the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dot here, and I'm going to call this point A. Now he's traveling for 25 kilometers for on a bearing of 45 degrees, so that's going to be 45 degrees. And that's going to be 25 kilometers. Then it says due south. South has a bearing of 90, uh, 180 degrees, and he's going for 16 kilometers. Okay, so that's 16 kilometers. Find the distance between AC and what's the bearing of A from C. I think it would have helped if I had drawn a bigger diagram. So let's see, I'm just gonna draw it here. So I'll put this as A, that's gonna be B, and that's going to be C. So as you can see, what I'm going to, what I'm looking for is, uh, I'll put it in here. I'm looking for the distance between C to A. So that's the blue part there. Then I'm also uh, looking for what's the bearing of A from C. So bearing of A from C. So from C it means it's from here to there, and I'm looking for that bearing there. Okay. So what I do know is I know that this is 25 kilometers and I know that this here is 45 degrees. So what I could do is I could actually, uh, I'm going to put an extra point here. I'm going to call this point D. I'm going to figure out what AD is and what DB is. All right, because that means if I figure out what AD is, then I can use AD minus BC to get this little part here. And then if I figure out what DB is, I know what this can be written as DB as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out AD. I'll put it in a different color so you guys can see it. This is what I'm working out first. So in this situation, I've got 45 degrees, the unknown, and this is going to be 25 kilometers. So using Sokotoa, this is going to be hypotenuse, and this is going to be adjacent. So I have cos 45 equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos 45 equals x over 25. Therefore, x is equal to 25 times cos 45, which equals, what do I have? 25 times cos 45 is 17.67. Now, if x is 17.67, I could work out what, uh, let me choose a different color. I could work out what this distance here is because the 17.67 the is the green line here. All right, if that's the green line, and we already know what BC is, BC is actually 16 kilometers. Okay, I'm going to put another point, I'm going to call this E. All right, uh, so I can see that CE, so CE, which is the gold line. CE is going to equal 17.67 minus 16, so it's equal to 1.67. Now I need to work out what DB is. All right, so DB is, I'm going to put this, I'm going to call this DB as Y. I'm looking for a different color, folks. Give me a second. Uh, purple, there we go. DB equals Y because this part is DB, Y. This is the part I'm looking at. All right, because I'm trying to figure out what DB is, which is the same distance as AE. Now, with DB, obviously, I'm going to use this triangle here. 
and I can see that that's going to be opposite. Now, if you're really quick, you can actually see that this is a 45 degree angle, uh, which means this will also be 45 degrees. So Y should be the same as 17.67, or you could use Pythagoras to prove it. So 25 squared minus 17.67 squared. Um, yeah, let's actually do Pythagoras. So what I want you guys to see is this right here. So see how this triangle looks like this? That's 25, that's 17.67. So, and if I put y as that top line, then we can say uh, y squared equals 25 squared minus 17.67 squared. And so I get y is equal to 25 squared minus 17.67 squared equals that. Uh, I get 17.68, but it really should be 17 point, uh, probably did a rounding error somewhere. Okay, so now I've got that bottom triangle sorted out. When I say the bottom triangle, I'm looking at AEC. Okay, so that's AEC. So the gold part, I figured out what the gold part is. That's 1.67. AE is the same as DB, which is Y, which is 17.67. So now I can actually look at the question and say, I'm looking for the distance AC, which is that. And to find the bearing, I need to work out this angle and add 180 to it. So first work out AC. So AC equals 17.67 squared. Well, AC squared equals 17.67 squared plus 1.67 squared. I'm using Pythagoras for it, guys. So 17.67 squared plus 1.67 squared. And then I get the distance of 17.75. And as for the angle, I need to do opposite and adjacent. So that's going to be opposite. That's going to be adjacent. I'm using tan. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals 17.67 divided by 1.67. So theta equals inverse tan of 17.67 over 1.67. Theta is inverse of that. So shift tan divided by 1.67. So I get an angle of 84.6 degrees. Which means for the bearing, I've actually got to add 180 to it. All right, so I actually get a bearing of uh, 264 degrees, uh, 264.6 degrees. Now, I hope you can see why I'm adding 180, because if you look at the original diagram, this angle here is 84.6, and this extra bit here that's that 180 that I needed to add so that's how I get 264.6 degrees cool I'm gonna actually leave this problem here guys um, should I be doing one more I have one more problem I might as well do it um, but I'll probably go a little bit faster, guys, so I wouldn't actually explain it as this much detail, yeah? But let's see anyway. Let's see how long it takes. All right, guys, so this question here is going to take about a good seven to eight minutes. So this will be covered in Bearings 3 video. Now, if you have any questions about the previous question that we just did in the previous slide, pop it in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Cool. Thank you for watching.